I think the word ruthless is from the word Ruth. Eh? Find out the kind of life Ruth lived. So, mercy deals with the consequences of sin in, a li in the life of a person. Grace offsets the sin, takes it out of the way. Mercy removes the consequence. Assuming you became sick, or your because of your sin, or you're facing hardship because of wrong financial dealings, what you need to do is repent. The grace of God will take care of the sin. His mercy will take care of the consequences. Sin can bring hardship, sickness, and whatever on people. Misery. So, mercy deals with the negatives. Are you here? Are you here? The law is of works. You work it out. Grace is of faith. Because you don't merit it, you receive it by faith. Because you don't deserve it, you didn't pay for it. If I came to your shop and asked you, how much is this, what do we call it now? What do we mention now? How much is this exercise book? And you tell me it's 3,000 Naira. I bring out my wallet and count 3,000 Naira and give you. I, I should not receive that book by faith. I paid for it. Give it to me. It's my right. I end it. Is it not? But when you did not earn it, you did not pay for it, it takes faith to receive it. The law is of works. Grace is of faith. By grace are you saved through faith. And that's not of your own. Even the faith is a gift from God. Even the faith God gives. Starting from when you got saved. It's a gift from God. Not of us, lest any man should boast. It's foolishness for any Christian to boast about anything on earth. Boast about your parents, your brother, your sister, yourself, whatever, your job. is foolishness and lack of understanding. It's an insult to grace. In Galatians 2, verse 20, 22, the Bible talks of frustrating the grace. If you go by your earnings and by your boast and by your deserving it is frustrate the grace of God. Paul said, I frustrate not the grace of God. Verse 20. Get to verse 20. It said, for if righteousness came by the law and crucified with Christ, it is no longer I that live, but Christ lives in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. Verse 21. I do not set aside that. Get it in the King James. King James. It's usually a set aside. In the New King James. Get it in King James. I do not frustrate the grace of God. You can frustrate grace. To frustrate something is to stop that thing from having its full effect or achieving its purpose. I do not frustrate the grace of God. For if righteousness came, if righteousness come by the law, Christ is dead in vain. Then Christ died for nothing if it's by the law. But it's not by the law, it's by grace. And we access grace through faith. Grace has made available everything we need that pertains to life and godliness. We access it by faith. And faith starts by discovery. Get into the word of God. Find out first. You will know from the word that this thing is here. When you know it, you receive faith for it. You can believe for it. Find out from the word. So this thing is here. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Romans 10, 17. Start from the word. Find out the, what God provides in the word. Those, are, those promises have been secured by grace. 
We access them through faith. And faith starts when the will of God is known. Faith starts when you know the will of God in a certain area. How do you know the will of God is revealed in the Bible? So we have a treasure chest here. But some people have never opened it. Some people don't open it often to find out what's even inside this box of treasures. By grace. The law came by Moses. Grace and truth came by the Lord Jesus Christ. Look at Galatians 3, 11 and 12. Okay, go to Galatians 2.16 first. 2.16. Look at Galatians 2.16. 16, verse 16. Knowing that a man is justified, knowing that a man is not justified by the works of the law, but by the faith of Jesus Christ. Even we who believed in Jesus Christ, who have believed in Jesus Christ, that we might be justified by the faith of Christ and not by the works of the law. For by the works of the law shall no man be justified. God can never declare you justified by your own works. Never. Justification is grace. You don't marry. If you want to earn it, you will never earn justification. You will never earn righteousness. Never. Galatians 3, 11 and... 12. Now it's evident that no one is justified before God by the law. For the one who is righteous will live by faith. It says the works and provisions of grace by faith. And faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. 12. But the law does not rest on faith. The King James says the law is not of faith. And the law is not of faith. But what does the law say? The man that doeth them shall live by them. And you are to do them 100% to live by them. The law was not of faith. Do this, do that, do that, do that, do that, kill a ram, do that, do that, do that, do that, do that, do that, do that. 100% you are justified. And none of them got it 100%. So no one was justified by the law. It has to be by grace. And grace we access through faith. Are you here? All right. Um, and so God tells us to come boldly before the throne of grace. That we might find grace. That we might find grace, uh, obtain mercy and find grace to help in the time of need. Hebrews 4.16. What we have in the New Testament is grace and truth, of course. God can't tell you I've saved you by grace and tell you to be a continuing sin. Truth says, shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? And the, God, the Bible answers, you know, the Bible asks some questions at times and does not answer it. He leaves you to the answer. But when he says, shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? He said, God forbid. Okay, that's grace. That's the comparison. So, the New Testament weighs on grace. You don't deserve it. Go for it by faith. All right. Hallelujah. 